Hello friends, today we will learn to plot FTR data or Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy data. Also in this we will learn to add a baseline or subtract the baseline from the data and process the data of FTR. So, here we have some files or some data already available, we can plot this, this is the data that we have. Particularly this data is having some problem that is though it is transmittance, but it is uh, given as absorbance. So, we first need to convert it to transmittance. Why I am saying so? Because uh, transmittance as we can see the peaks are reversed that we can see and the value here is around 10 which should be around 100 for, uh, if it is transmittance. So, in order to convert it into transmittance data what we need to do is we need to subtract it from 100. So, we did it here and now what we can do is we can use this data. When we plot this data as we will do here we can use this that is C column apply once we apply this we can see this here. Here this is the transmittance data that is here we have 90 and here we have 55 uh, that is it is decreasing or this can be considered as a transmittance data of Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy and here we can see different peaks that we can we do have here. Okay. So, as we can see from this data that it is not having a particular baseline. So, in order to have the baseline in this graph we uh, what we usually do we usually go to analysis peaks and baseline peak analyzer open dialog. Once we add open dialog what we see is uh, we can subtract baseline I will do it recalculate to my auto. Next here as we can see it is considering from this value that is if at all we are adding baseline to this particular data what will happen is it will add it will get added to this particular values or uh, and the data that is uh, from the downside or from the lower side of this particular graph it will add baseline which is not expected or which is not required for us. What we need to add is what we need to do is we need to have a baseline that is above this particular data ok not below it. Still we will try we can do and we can see what happens here. that the threshold value should be 0 from 0 to 1 and now when I click next though it is not clear, but still we can have the idea that is if I do subtract it will go like this, but the values that you can see here are negative values they are not the values that we need. So, instead of doing this what we will do is the data that we have we already had initial data that we already had was this that is the transmittance data, but in the form of absorbance that we had as we have plotted this we will have a baseline to this particular data first and then we will subtract it from um, 100. So, that we can get a proper data of FTI. So, for this we will go to analysis peaks and baseline peak analyzer open dialog here we will subtract baseline. I will once again recalculate to auto next we will choose asymmetric least square smoothing next here we can see we will have we will adjust this so that we can get a proper baseline. So, this seems to be ok or else we can even add more even this is good this seems to be good we will click next and here once we click finish 
in the worksheet we received the data that is baseline or subtracted data this is the subtracted data that we have now <coughs> i will disregard this why we need to disregard because we are what we are going to do is we, we are going to add a new column here once we add a new column here it is y3 it should be y2 because we, we should use the x2 data or x2 uh, axis for this so i will disregard this baseline and here this is now y2 the same thing that we have to do is we have to just click 100 minus e e column so this is the data that we require and this is the column uh, here we have to plot this but before plotting this i'll copy this long names and units to this values here as well as transmittance to h column now when we plot this into our template that we have already created here I'll remove this and I will plot the H column. Apply. Okay. So here it's the corrected data. So in this way we can create a baseline as well as we can have the data created, uh, FTR data plotted as well as we can add a baseline to that particular data. So thank you for watching this video and also subscribe our channel to watch more such videos. Thank you.